Hello book lovers! Today with the recent release of The Long War by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter, I thought I would talk again about The Long Earth, the first of the two stories in the series. And this, I have to say, is one of those books where I first read it and thought, mm, it's alright, the nice ideas are there, but it's not really going anywhere, but you've got to stick with it. The initial impression is that it's a little bit slow, but it does speed up very nicely. And it is a traditional, reasonably hard sci-fi story, and because of that, it's got a bit of depth to it. It has an idea, and it fully explores the idea and the ramifications of that idea, rather than the usual sci-fi thing of, we have this concept, we're going to use it as a plot device to tell this action film story. This takes the idea of, what if there are multiple Earths? And it's fairly easy, although not actually that simple for most people, to step between worlds. Which is a great idea, I'm sure you can imagine the frontier lifestyle that could come from that. But it takes it a bit further and starts to explore the ramifications of that kind of concept. What if there are multiple Earths? And they're almost identical to our Earth. Well, there's differences. Each one is a different uh, point on a probability scale, for example, of what could have happened in history. Well, that's obviously going to produce a huge amount of resources. What resources do we have here? What's running out? Oh my goodness, now there's more. And that's the interesting part of it. What happens to a world that is based on an economy of scarcity when things aren't scarce anymore? It's a brilliant idea. So this is one of those books where you've got to stick with it because the concept is quite good and it takes a bit of time to set it up and then it starts to go along. And the adventure story that you get from it is fantastic. Exploration, the possibilities of new lifestyles coming and clashing with old lifestyles. What happens to the new ones? come merge with the old style, or does the old style crumble, or does the old style subsume the new styles? Do we end up with new nations? That kind of thing. It's great. This produces one possible explanation of what could happen. You probably have your own ideas, of course, and that's perfectly fine. If you like it that much and you have a great idea, write your own version. That's basically what happens with a lot of sci-fi. Uh, Joe Holderman with Forever War, he didn't like what was going on in Starship Troopers, wrote his own version. We got two good stories then. <laughs> I'm getting off topic, of course. And Stephen Baxter has brought a different kind of science fiction to Terry Pratchett's style. The humour of Pratchett is still there, but the more harder drama and sci-fi of Baxter is there as well, which makes for an excellent coupling. So I highly recommend this book. If you have a minute, go and have a look at it. It's fantastic. You can probably get it fairly cheap these days because it's out in paperback, and it's also available on Kindle and other ebook formats. So no excuse. Go and have a look. Anyway, that's all I really want to talk about today because time is running out and I want to record this between rainstorms that are going on outside. You might have noticed that I'm soaked to the skin. But thankfully, I am English, therefore waterproof. But anyway, I'll leave it there with you. The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. Go and have a look at it. It's thoroughly recommended. And thank you very much for watching the Monday Book Club. I've been Zoe Kirk-Robinson. You've been watching ZJKR. We're back on our original channel. And I'll see you next time.